mtazamaji uh, matumaini yangu kwamba leo yako shwari karibu sana kwenye makala mengine ya maisha ni safari kawaida ni makala ambayo inaletwa kwako kwa isani ya Hope Water Africa Hope Water Africa wanakuletea huduma kama za drill maji uh, borehole drilling borehole equipping and repair pamoja na test pumping na zinginezo mingi tu ni, ba, ni baadhi tu ya huduma ambazo Hope Water Africa wanakuleta ndio wadhamini wakuu wa hiki kipindi na hileo tuko katika mkawa huu wa ama resort ya Kolol Kolol Resort unaweza tembea hapa iko kwenye barabara ya Kaptagat Eldoret uh, opposite Islamic Estate unaweza kuja pale ukajivinjari na familia yako ukapata chakula tamu kabisa na huduma zinginezo mingi tu ambazo utapata pale wako na hata field kama uko na event yoyote pale unaweza ukakuja hapa Kolol Resort wakaweza wakakushughulikia kwa hivyo karibu sana uh, mali hapa unaweza ukawasiliana nao kwa nambari ambazo ziko kwa screen yako pale na ikiwa ungependa sana huduma za maji na ikiwa kwenu labda wakati kama huu kwanza kuna tatizo ama changamoto za maji unaweza ukasaidika na Hope Water Africa kwa hivyo ni huduma tu uh, baadhi tu ya huduma ya wadhamini wetu wa haya makala ya maisha ni safari. Nikukaribisha tena sana ili tuweze kuandamana nawe hadi tamati. Kwenye uh, makala ya maisha ni safari kawaida tunazingatia uh, maisha ya watu na story za watu. Uh, kawaida uh, watu wengi huwa wanauliza uh, maisha yangu mimi yanapitia changamoto mingi ama mimi napitia matatizo mingi lakini hajui kwamba kuna mtu ambaye amepitia changamoto kama hiyo na ameweza kushinda haya majaribu kwa hivyo ndio maana nakukuletea wageni ambao huwa tunasungumza nao na wanakupa story ya maisha yao ile kwenye kiti niko na Jennifer Chekori Karibu sana kwenye makala haya ya maisha ni safari. Mashukuru. Yes, kwa faida ya mtazamaji labda hebu ujitambulishe na uambie Jennifer Chekori ni nani. Asante sana uh, Angodan. Kwa majina ni Jennifer Chekori, nimeokoka Kristo ni Bwana. E, mzaliwa wa Ziwa but niko wa Simkishu town Eldoret. Uh, mzaliwa wa Ziwa. Yes. Uh, ziwa ndio umelelewa umesomea pale ziwa ama masomo kidogo imekutembeza nje <laughs> Actually nime nimesomea huko uh, though nilitoka toka kidogo but nilimalizia baadaye huko mm-hmm. Yeah nilianzia origin mm-hmm. actually nilianzia Nandi county mm-hmm. uh, a place called uh, Safani estate huko ndio tulilelewa tukakaa kwa muda wa like 12 years kamia ziwa mm-hmm. actually uh, kuna baadhi za vitu zilitufanya tukatoka huko mm-hmm. na ni baadhi ya changamoto pia ambayo zilitufanya tukabadilisha shule tukabadilisha shule mm-hmm. hadi tukafika mahali niko sasa mm-hmm. yeah. na sasa nataka nataka sasa tuanzie hapo yeah. uh, maisha e, ya unajua maisha tunasema maisha ni safari yeah. na kawaida tunaposema maisha ni safari kwanza kwanza relax <laughs> kwanza tu relax <laughs> Urelax tu. Utupe tu yes. story yako kwa sababu kuna kuna watu wengi ambao wanapitia changamoto mingi katika maisha yeah. na huwa wana, wanaona kwamba maisha imefika yeah. mwisho. Yeah. Lakini hawajui kwamba kuna mtu amepita mambo magumu hata kuwaliko wao. Kabisa. Kwa hivyo ndio maana hiki kipindi kiko kwa sababu yao mm-hmm. watu kama hao ambao wanataka ku give up in life. Mm-hmm. So ndio tu encourage tuambie kwamba no, don't give up. Yes. It's not yet over. There is light at the end of the tunnel. Unaweza kuwa umefika mwisho giza uone mbele. But if you listen to some people to testimonies. Unaona kwamba hata wewe ni hapa. Yes. So, ah uh, mzaliwa wa Nandi. Yeah. That's the origin. Exactly. Yes. Yeah. Now, what how was life? Maisha ilikuwaaje? Mm, okay. Na isaanza kusema hivi. Mm. Maisha before tukiwa, okay tukiwa na complete family mm-hmm. t- that is my dad yes when he was there mm, maisha haikuwa mbaya ah. so babangu alikuwa anafanya kazi kibarua ya serikali so all of a sudden uh, kuna incident ili happen akawawa so that is where maisha ilianza sasa kuwa ngumu. Si si yego mtaweza niruhusu utupe hiyo incident kidogo. Mm. 
Okay actually because uh, nilikuwa mdogo pia mm-hmm. nilikuja nikaambiwa alikuwa anafanya kazi ya DCI na unaelewa maneno yao watu. Uh-huh. So aliuawa na tukaletewa tu mpaka kwa mlango. Naona ile unaletewa tu maiti unakuja unawekewa tu hapo kwa mlango na mka asubuhi unaona hapo. Mm-hmm. So that is what my mom uh, alikutia mm-hmm. akaangalia hivyo na unajua sasa on the other side my mama alikuwa jobless hakuwa na kazi yoyote. Mm-hmm. So sasa maisha ikaanza kwa ngumu tukaanza tunaenda shule tukirudi mm. unaona ile unaenda shule za zingine hata unarudishwa hakuna pesa unaamua afadhali nikuje nianze kuhasola hata kama niko mtoto mdogo nianze tukutembea kutembea kutafuta kibarua so like uh, personally wacha tu niseme mimi <laughs> binafsi yes. so mimi nikiwa class 6 niliona maisha imekuwa ngumu kabisa. Naona ile unakuja hata ukitoka lunch ukiwa primary. Mimi nilikuwa primary inaitwa Chepsira Primary School. Mm-hmm. So unaona ile bell tu ya, ya shule waki ring tu ya lunch unasema sasa nikienda nyumbani naenda kukula nini. Mm-hmm. Na mama tu unasema afadhali hata nikae shule nirudi tu darasa nikae tu. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Ama ni toke tu unajua huko kuna hizi <laughs> vitu zile kwa bus. Yeah. Yeah. Uh-huh. Huko kwetu ni forest. Yes. Na watu watu wakienda lunch na ingia huko unakula mapera huko ndani. Mm-hmm. <laughs> na unarudi class unakunywa maji. Unakunywa maji unaendelea na maisha. Uh-huh. So ikakuwa hivyo. Tukakaa nikakaa class 6 uh, class 7. Mm-hmm. My uncle akakuja akanichukua. So akanichukua nikaenda shule nyingine inaitwa Keten Primary mm-hmm. next to Nandis yes. Samoy Boys. Mm-hmm. That is at least Uh, na sasa sema hapo maisha ilienda ikaanza kubadilika kidogo do unajua kama ujasoea kukaa mahali <laughs> yes unakaa ukifikiria kwenu uh. so nikaambia Mungu at least anishikilie sana anipatie that strength i thank God sababu mimi nilijua Mungu nikawa mdogo so hata nikiwa hiyo class 6 nilikuwa nimeanza kufunza Sunday school uh. yeah so nikapambana sana nikaingia class Six, class 7 class 8 nikafanya 8 ya kwanza nikapita mm-hmm. sasa siku ingia high school pia sababu my uncle alikuwa na kazi mingi pia yes. nikutoka hama sasa ziwa huko nikaja nikarudia class 8 mm-hmm. nikapita sasa hiyo time so what hebu nikurudishe nyuma kidogo ni nini yeah. lead uh, kuhama kutoka nandi kwenda mm-hmm. ziwa actually when my dad had passed uh-huh kuna that family conflict. Uh-huh. Umona. So these people walianza ku fight. The late uh, actually the late Saipia, mm. the late grandparents, they started fighting my mom. Mm. So wakam fight, wakam fight, mpaka hata shamba wakaanza kuuza, <laughs> wakamwambia sasa wewe mm. ni kama you are just useless. Mm. And then my cousins pia wakakuja in, wakaanza ku ku fight my mom to an extent mukilala usiku wanakuja wanasunguka ni kama they like so unajua huko okay actually tulikuwa tunaishi acha tu niseme nyumba mm. ya nyasi ah. so mna kaa usiku ni kama ai unaweza chomea wala unaweza kuja kuchotoma ndani ah. nini so hiyo fear yes ikafanya my mama kafikiria kwa wao so mm. tukaambia ziwa tukaambia kwa before we bought our mm-hmm. shamba so tukakuja tukakuja tukaambia ziwa 2006 Mm-hmm. So when tulikuja ziwa at least hiyo tension ikapotea. Unajua pia unafikiria hai naweza wao na watoto pia watu wote waende yes. na hauna say tena. Mm-hmm. Ah ikabidi tumekuja sasa huko. So after kuingia ziwa 2006 nikaingia that class 8 sasa. Ukarudia tena 8. Yeah. Aha. Nikafanya class 8, nikaingia class 8 nikafanya uh, venye nimemaliza class 8 I joined form 1. Mm-hmm a day school too. Yes. Mm, that is naona ile mtu tu mko na ngombe moja kwenu and my mom sacrificed. Mhm. Akasema acha niuze for the sake of my daughter I mm-hmm. give you. So uh, this is a family of uh, we are a family of six and the second born. Wow. Yeah. So, so the, the, the moment mnaama from mm-hmm. now you, you are late that place. Yeah. It will be six. Yeah. Wow. Yes. <laughs> wow. So my sister elder sister yeye alikuwa ameamua akaona ni kama maisha imekuwa ngumu sasa akaamua akae kwanza so by then yeye alikuwa ameenda Nairobi kufanya kazi ya maid so yeye aliwacha tu shule class 7 akaamua akaenda so akaenda aka hustle pia Mungu akabariki ona ile tu actually 
si right time kuolewa but mm. ilifika to mahali aka akaamua yeah. so and akafika akapata a good family na akaendelea na maisha mm. so I am the second born the third born ni my brother mm. my brother pia kusoma because of changamoto alikuwa mgonjwa since childhood mm. so yeye yeah, akakatu akwenda shule mm-hmm. and then the completely yeah akwenda completely alikuwa affected psychologically oh. ile mtu ana mentally too disturbed okay so mimi nikaenda land kaingia form 1 form 1 first term second term ndio hiyo nataka kuingia form 2 changamoto ya maisha pia ikafika mm-hmm. <laughs> unaona sasa ile unaona ni kama ume eh umekuwa mkubwa yes I got a boyfriend. Hapo sasa ndio ilikuja ikaleta maneno. And then getting a boyfriend definitely at times when you meet somebody unaona ni kama with your situation unaweza kuwa ume things happened. Nikapata mimba when I was in school. Ndio hiyo sasa nika drop tena. But sick to give up. Yes. Yes, I was so stressed. Baka hata nilikuwa naokopa kwenda nyumbani. Mm-hmm. But uh, I have a friend alikuja kabisa akaniongelesha. Mhm. Kaniambia this is not the simu share mesha. Mm-hmm. You unaweza pata mtoto wako na urudi shule. Mm-hmm. Na nikasikia but nilikuwa na uoga. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I got my son. Mm-hmm. And then nikakuja nikakaa one year tena. Mm-hmm. That is 2000 87 yote 2008 i went back to school mm-hmm. nikaingia back to form 1 yes. and then i changed school na nikaingia shule kabisa na nikasoma nikamaliza mm-hmm. and by then nikapata money nikapata sponsor mm-hmm. nikalipiwa na cdf yes and my church waka ni support actually when uh, nili venye nilianguka nikarudi i repent nikaenda kanisa wakanikaribisha and wakanilea pia mm-hmm nona wanasemanga when you fall usikwe mwoga yes. confidently go and face the church mwambie mm-hmm. it was not iko yeah, kwenda kwako yeah, sure. because most actually most ladies wakifanya hivyo wanakwanga discouraged kwa maisha mm-hmm. wanaona like ai nimefika mwisho with the situation in the family <laughs> actually i was like that but kitu ile nikuje tu nika nika nikajiambia uh-huh. sijamaliza safari yes yeah nikasema i must do this mm-hmm. and i went back to school wow nikamaliza shule mm-hmm. like i na nikapata credit nzuri pia okay hebu 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 to take a short break mm-hmm. uh tumeze tama la maji mm-hmm. ndo tuweze kuendelea and talking of tama la maji mm-hmm. unaweza uka grab <laughs> mm-hmm. uh, uka sungumza na hope water africa they can be of help to you mm-hmm. wanaweza wakakusaidia ku drill maji a bowl long long term this is a long term solution mm-hmm. yes hakuna mambo na kukatika katika kwa maji and then they can equip that bowl of yours wanaweza kukuwekea pump ya steamer wakakuwa pump ya solar ama hand pump ya kupambu ya pamba na mkono. So that is Hope Water Africa. They have a bowl equipping and repair or repair. Wanaweza kudrillia maji ya yeah, at a very affordable prices. Unaweza contact wao pale eh, kwa hizo namba ambazo ziko chini ya screen yako. Unaweza kusungumza nao ili muweze kujadiliana ni vipi unaweza kupata ama ni wapi wanapatikana. But they are located along a mountain ama along a Kaptagat Eldoret Road mali panaitwa Mountain View pale unaweza kutembea pale ili mkaweza mkawasiliana nao pia uh, tembelea Kolo Resort mali ambapo tupo hii leo wanaweza wakawa wa msaada kubwa kwako ya yeah, ukataweza ukapata events uh, pale ukafanyia harusi yako unaweza kufanyia pale they have a, they have a good field and good services so hala at them Uh, and get the services. We're coming back after this short break. Tazamaji karibu tena kwenye 
makala haya maisha ni safari bado niko hapa Kolol Resort na tuko na Jennifer Chipkoril Kolol Resort wanakupa services kadhaa azikiwemo za ku host events ikiwa kuna event unaweza kuja pale ka host uh, na wako na services za uh, catering they can offer na chakula yao ikiwa unataka kukuleta familia ka retreat kidogo waji njari pale unaweza kukuja pale with affordable prices unaweza kukuja pale ukazungumza nao na utapata uh, kuridhishwa nema utapata uko satisfied na mahitaji yako yote uh, pia uh, kipindi hiki kinakuja kwa udhamini ni mkuu wa Hopot Africa Hopot Africa uh, ni one of the leading uh, companies kwa ku drill maji ama boreholes Uh, kwa hivyo Africa they giving you borehole drilling they equip your borehole or with wanaku kwanza wana test wana test pamba kwamba maji yanatoka vizuri na ni maji safi maji ambayo yanatumika na familia na jamii nzima kwa hivyo ikiwa unahitaji long lasting solution na mambo na maji hala at hopwat africa namba zao ziko hapo chini unaweza kusungumza nao ili ukajua ni mambo yapi ambayo wana offer yes niko bado na Jennifer Chekorila ambaye tunazidi kusungumza naye atufahamishe uh, maisha yake yamekuwa namna gani tumefika mahali ambapo umerudi shule baada ya changamoto za hapa na pale lakini uh, fortunately uh, umesema umemaliza shule yeah. yes hapo tulikuwa tumefika kwa mm. kwamba ulipata sponsor yeah. um, scholarship no hawa to sidi yeah so uh, after form 4 mm-hmm. nikaanza sasa ku hustle eh? real hustle mm-hmm. <laughs> so nikakuja Eldoret town that is 2014 so niliingia 2014 mm-hmm. nikaanza kibarua I worked at Ketia Garments. That's ah mm. huko uh, nilikuja nikafanya kibarua nikiingia college. Yes. So nilikuwa naingia kazi mpaka saa moja na nusu nina toka naingia classes. Mm. So nikajaribu that is uh, nikaanza hivyo hivyo 2015 na 2016. Mm. Nikaanza uimbaji. Okay. So story ya uimbaji <laughs> si si kwamba ime, imekuwa actually ilikuwa uh-huh. but uh, due to financial constraint ile unaona mwenyewe unajua kuimba lakini sasa utaambia nani akusaidie mm-hmm. unaona unahitaji school fees unahitaji na... school fees uh-huh. na familia uh-huh. ndio yes. so ilikuwa tu actually nilikuwa naichochea tu hiyo talent nikiwa church mm-hmm. nikiwa shule cuz uh, nikikumbuka nikiwa high school hapo ndio nilianza nikafanya kazi kabisa ya music nikaimba mm-hmm. shule nikakuja college pia nikakuja nikaimba imba yes nikafika <sighs> mali nikasema let me record mm-hmm. nikafanya recording ya kwanza mm-hmm. i did my first and second songs songs ikakuwa actually watu wakaipenda yes it motivated me mm-hmm. nikasema hii pia i think this is what god alikuwa anataka nimfanyie mm. yeah. uliwajua kwamba unaweza imba au ama unaweza enda studio <laughs> record nyimbo zako i didn't hata sikuwa na ni sikuwa nafikiria kama uh-huh. nitawahi <laughs> <laughs> it's god actually cuz nilikuwa naimba tu naona watu wakienda studio sikasema eh siku moja mungu tu akinijalia pia niende sikuwa najua actually mm-hmm. yeah. yes but venye niliingia tu studio a uh, producer akaniambia umeimba mali nikamwambia hapana ati umeingia tu studio na ukaimba tu kama mtu ameai record somewhere mm-hmm. I'm this guy it is my first time and I recorded the song uh, from the book of Jeremiah 29:11 yes that says uh, God has good plans yes yeah nikaimba kwa Kiswahili mm-hmm. Yesu wako na mpango mimi wajua maisha yako mm-hmm. yeah so that was your first song that was my first song mm-hmm. ile unafaa tu headphone studio na unaogopa but Niliona Mungu alitenda that was my first song. Yes. And then I did again another song from the book of uh, First John 3:1. Mm-hmm. Uh, that ni upendo wa namna gani Mungu mm-hmm. alitupenda. Yes. So actually nilikuwa na hiyo talent I can say nilikuwa nayo but ni ile au kwa na support. Unaona? Mm-hmm. So ni nini ni nini nilikuwa ni inspire uh, mm-hmm. you writing the song? Actually Uh, nilikuwa nikienda church. Uh, niimbe kabisa kwa I do praise and worship. So nilikuwa nikiimba na nasikia tu kabisa. Ai, 
here I must sing somewhere nataka tuniimbe niimbe mm-hmm. so nilikuwa na kuwa na that push kitu inaniambia when you sing up a chorus is na praise <laughs> worship papa hivi mm-hmm. tafadhali imba yako pia yes yeah and uh, pia when nilikuwa church mtu akaniambia do you know that you sing very well mm-hmm. kamwambia i don't know <laughs> akaniambia imagine boy you record songs at least one or two mm-hmm. so when nilikuja tu hivyo anema ikatosha mm-hmm. Yeah. So ukaamua kuingia sasa nikaingia fully ministry. Aha. Yeah. Wow, wow. Uh, uh, ni, uh, what ni nini kwa mfano? Do you watu wengi huwa wanasema mimi usoma Biblia mm-hmm. ndio niandike wimbo. Yeah. Uh, lo, uh, wengi nimeona wamegeuka anaandika about the life ambayo amepitia. Mm-hmm. Yes, maybe amepitia challenges, amepitia mambo mengi. So anaamua kuandika about mm-hmm. songs about the life ambazo amepitia ama challenges ambazo yeah. watu wengine wakipitia. Sure. So what inspires your your lyrics? Nini kinafanya okay. uandike songs? Okay, actually, uh, writing songs iko na different fashions. Unaona? Kwa sasa ndio ndio that song ya Jeremiah 29, yes the first was there, mm-hmm. but see it ilinikujia from the Bible direct. Hiyo mm-hmm. kitu actually I can say it was like a dream. Because nilikuwa na kaivi in the morning. Mm-hmm. It was around like 3 uh, to 4. Nikasikia tu something inaniambia Yesu 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 na mipango mema. Unajua ile unachukua simu yako tu na unacherekord kwa simu. Mm-hmm. And the following day nikapiga tu producer nikamwambia naomba nikuje nifanye nini? Ni record. So you had already known a producer many years ago. Yeah. Yeah. Nikamwambia naomba tu nikuje ni record. Mm-hmm. Kaniambia it's okay. Imagine I hata sikuwa na any cash. Mm-hmm. Kaniambia kama unasikia tu unataka kuimba, mm-hmm. you just come. Yes. <laughs> na hivyo ndio ikakuja. So actually songs inakuja in different fashions. Unaweza ota. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so at times inakuja tu. Mm-hmm. Naweza soma Biblia, you can sit. Mm-hmm. Preacher akihubiri like me sasa nyingine preacher akihubiri tu. Mm-hmm. Nimechukua message hiyo. Yeah. Na hivyo ndio song imekuja. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You you don't need to kukaa sana ndio mama no. usome vitabu ndio wale. No, no, no. no. <laughs> It inakuja automatic. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Now what, what that one biggest thing in your mind kwamba you've achieved mm. in singing gani ama in your ministry? Okay, actually uh, I cannot say there is that thing actually ile kubwa nime achieve kwa ministry cause uh, I can say I'm not actually new but i think uh, i had some restrictions from the workplace so i was not exposed mm-hmm. so ile unasema umeenda kuimba mahali kumfanya nini mahali mm-hmm. so what i can say in in achieve ni hiyo hiyo favor tu ya Mungu mm-hmm. that ime, nimepata when recording uh, song after song mm-hmm. nona yes yes songs asijakuwa exposed mm-hmm. sana mm-hmm. <laughs> but nasema anaweza sema kitu yenye nime achieve ni hiyo tu Mungu amenipatia ki, that key power ya kupata songs after songs na hiyo favor ya kupata pesa ya ku okay. record song nyingine ukisungumza okay, ukisema yeah. kwamba umepata hizo ulikuwa na restriction mm-hmm. was it that uh, was it a challenge to you it was or? a very big challenge actually because uh, mtu anaweza kukwambia Jennifer ningeomba ukuje uimbe mahali mm-hmm. or niko na prayer day somewhere ningeomba ukuje uombe na watoto na you perform there mm-hmm. so like ukitoa friday or saturday uko kazini mm-hmm. unaona so wezi omba rusa ati mbona mbona wezi omba rusa <laughs> actually uh, where i was uh, ni different people actually they are, i can say ni different <laughs> Na saoma leo rusa uh-huh. yes anakupatia but the following day unajua employer is kupatia rusa every day yes mm-hmm. ai <laughs> is kupatia kila siku mm-hmm. ataona ni kama you are not serious with this work uh-huh. nona yes <laughs> so itabidi wewe mwenyewe umesema let me just cool mm. yeah unaamua kupumzika tu pumzika tu or you say I have somebody mwenye anaesa. Okay, mostly what I did uh, like two years, mm-hmm. nilikuwa nikipewa appointment mali, I called artist mm-hmm. mwenye kwa file book. Yes. Nina mtuma. So this happened for how long? Mm, two years. You worked for for that place for two years. Three in fact, but two years then nilikuwa napata invitation like weddings mm-hmm. whatever. Yes. But I had to send somebody. Wow. <laughs> 
so, so, hey. because because uh no no kwa msani lazima you have that platform, a cl- a platform mm. and a close uh, relationship na na wasani wengine very true so serious if if somebody can invite you to a function and you don't go yeah of course kesha atakukumbuka even t- i think it is last year ndio mm-hmm. nilianza kwenda launch mm-hmm. nilikuwa nasikia tu na naona <laughs> Mm-hmm. Cuz singenda because lunch is mostly wengine wanafanya Saturday mm-hmm. Sunday na Sunday maybe that is the only off that you have no, no. so you have to wash you have to yeah. <laughs> wow. yeah. so uh, uh, is, is is that the biggest challenge you ever had in yeah, yeah. that was the biggest kabisa mm. it was the biggest cuz unasikia tu kwenda ku you bless somebody somewhere mm-hmm. but you don't have that mm-hmm. so and, and the mm-hmm. biggest maybe kuna kitu ilifanya and uh, you you call it the biggest step you ever took mm-hmm. any ile positive ambayo mm-hmm. una feel ya kwamba uko relief that is nice you say me watch kuimba utakuwa make a plus <laughs> actually there is a seba bad <laughs> So, ujapiga hatua yenye unaweza sema hata size ni chacha kuimba. Nitakuwa nimeachieve. Yo, actually. And what is that thing that unatamani kabisa unasema if I achieve this I could have achieved a great thing. Okay, like uh, currently. Mm. Uh, kitu nyenye nilikuwa naambia Mungu uh, nikiwa nafanya kazi where I was mm. so nilikuwa naomba sana naomba Mungu I actually kufanya kazi ni mzuri yes it is very good mm-hmm. uh, nikaambia Mungu if actually unaweza nipatia something like okay kama ni kazi mm-hmm. is where nitapata off yes. weekends uh-huh. so that I can serve you mm-hmm. unaona yes so hiyo kitu ndio bado ninaomba sana and i have a lot of faith that it will come to mm, pass because mm. actually it's my nasikia tu sana kumtumikia mungu through this ministry mm-hmm. yeah because the period nimeka like two weeks size mm. actually nime attend those prayers mm. <laughs> nime attend like three mm. and now i feel comfortable wow. yeah Uh, and uh, tuki, tuki malizia labda uh, kuna kuna watu wengi ambao labda wange, wanapenda sana mm. uh, ku, kufanya shughuli ya uimbaji yeah. and they feel uh, through some maybe theories au wanaona kwamba muziki ni kama mm-hmm. aina reward mm-hmm. in other words i leap sure sure mm-hmm. uh, do you agree with them kwamba muziki i leap Any anyway, to find music I Actually I don't agree. Music is passion. So ndio. Mm-hmm. Si eti unaimba sababu unataka pesa. Mm-hmm. But pesa itakuja yenyewe. Yes. Unaona? Mm-hmm. So music ni kitu unaimba tu from your heart. Mm-hmm. Like now unaisaimba a uh, song. Tuseme it song. Mm-hmm. Na kila mtu anahitaji. Mm-hmm. Ukiitwa event fulani uwe si acho aburi mm. unaona mm-hmm. so si eti umetafuta hiyo pesa yes. imekutafuta ime yenyewe yeah. unaona so mimi sitaki ku discourage mtu mwenye anasema ai music I... okay if you are singing for money mm. no don't but, do that <laughs> no if you are singing for money uh-huh. don't but kama ni passion mm-hmm. and usikuwe na haraka sana usikuwe na mbio ya kutafuta ati unatafuta pesa haraka mm-hmm. no just to sing from your heart You just humble yourself na itakuja tu mm-hmm. have you ever thought of maybe because you feel that you should you should serve through music yeah. have you ever thought of going to music uh, full time ah this year ndo nimefikiria hivyo actually lakini unajua ukisema after that full time kama una pesa mhm tafumbua kidogo because mm-hmm. actually music ni pesa yes. unaona unaona you have to record na pesa yeah. uh-huh. you have to do video na pesa mm-hmm. so ukisema fully when you have nothing mm-hmm. <laughs> itakuwa changamoto kidogo okay. uh-huh. so wacha tu ni Mungu peke yake ndio ndio atapatia that one 
Wewe sisi. Tazamaji bado niko na Jedfa Chipkori ambaye tunamalizia mazungumzo yetu. Ah, nikukumbusha tu kusiana na Hope Water Africa. Hope Water Africa wanakupea services za maji zote za maji ikiwa uko na uh, matatizo ya maji mali ambapo unatutizama basi hope water africa ni solution kwako kwa maana wanakupa solution la kudomo wanakuchimbia pale borehole ambayo wana equip na ikiwa uko na borehole na inahitaji maintenance they do that na wanafanya test pumping na wakikuwekea pump pale wako na aina tatu za pump kuna pump ya kupamba na mkono kuna ya sola na kuna ya steam kwa hivyo ikiwa uko na mahitaji kama hayo basi hala at them they can help you uh, achieve your water goals wanasema kwamba hope water africa bowl water for the wellness of humanity ya yeah, labda uh, kwa kumalizia tu kuna mtu ambaye labda kuna changamoto ya maisha. Eh, tujataka kupitia zote kwa sababu ya yes. muda pia. Uh, unaweza muambia jambo lipi? Okay, uh, na sasema kama unaona tu kabisa maisha inakufikisha mwisho. Kwanza kabisa okay, the only person mwenye unaweza mkimbilia is only God. Mm. Without God hakuna kitu utafanya. Mm. So you just unakimbilia tu Mungu, you just pray. Mungu atasikia maombi and actually atakufungulia njia. Mm-hmm. Yeah, God opens the way. Yes. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Watu watu labda sasa hivi uko na nyimbo gapi? Uh size ni kuna nane. Volume 1 ni tano. Hiyo mm-hmm. iko kwa YouTube and I have three audios. I'm yet to and uh, release one audio. Mm-hmm. I'm yet to do videos. Wow. So volume 2. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Wow. So upi ambao ungependa sana ile ambayo nafikiza umedicate hapo. Okay. Niko uh, kuna song uh, the Kalenjin one inasema acha ni Jehovah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. That means uh, the, love the love of God. Yes. From the book of first John 3 first one. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Chorus alafu. Chanye ne une. Nigi gonech kwanda gotke gurenech Love of Jehova chanye ne une Nigi gonech kwanda gotke gurenech Love of Jehova Allah Jehova O kwanda kana no time Wow. Jennifer kwa mtandao wa YouTube. Na uh, Jennifer, yeah, YouTube Jennifer Jeff Korir mm-hmm. na naomba sana mnisaidie kusubscribe. Yes. Yeah, asante. Shukran sana. Ndio hivyo muda wetu wa makala ya maisha ni safari uh, kutoka hapa a uh, Kolol uh, Resort. Na unaweza watembelea kwa services mbalimbali, chakula, tamu pamoja na kwa kuna event pale ungependa sana mali pa ku host wanaweza wakafanya hivyo kwa hivyo watembele pale ili uweze kujua uh, services zao pia ikiwa uko na mahitaji ya maji hope what africa is the solution for you uh, details zote ziko hapo kwenye screen yako hadi wakati mwingine mimi naitwa Ngodan Mukaya na shukran kwa kujiunga nami kwa hivyo